I'm Eric Harder, and I'm your Yakagani Riverkeeper. I work for Mountain Watershed Association. We are dedicated to clean water, and our focus is on the Yakagani River. We also work on regional and global initiatives and collaborate with many organizations on issues like climate change, polluter accountability, and the lack of enforcement of NIPTES permits and the Clean Water Act. In terms of water quality monitoring, we have a very active program to assess the quality of our streams and rivers. We collect water samples to monitor the impacts over time of coal mines in operation, abandoned mine discharges, landfills, sewage treatment systems, and drinking water sources. We have our own bacteria analysis lab where we can measure E. coli at very common swimming locations throughout the watershed. And volunteer work is very important for many nonprofit organizations, including Mountain Watershed. And this involves citizen water quality monitoring. Due to capacity, logistics, and costs, utilizing citizen monitoring can be very beneficial for organization initiatives. Alarm which is the Alliance for Aquatic Resource Monitoring, is an organization we've worked with in the past. They host workshops to help establish and train volunteer monitoring networks. The workshops typically include background information about water chemistry, establishing a program, standard operating procedures, and a closer view regarding a current or upcoming threat to the water quality in their area. Our workshop that we co-hosted with Alarm was focused on potential impacts from the Falcon Pipeline, and topics covered were drinking water supplies and possible interactions with pipeline construction activities, construction sequencing, violation examples, so basically what to look for, how to determine if sediment is in the waterway, and how to properly report a violation. Our hopes are that a citizen can be an active participant in protecting their home, their favorite creek, or their community, for example, the Ambridge Reservoir. These workshops can be tailored to cover many different types of land disturbance and resource extraction activities. MWA is a member organization of Waterkeeper Alliance. As for now, there are over 300 waterkeepers across the globe, and we work collectively on waterkeeper campaigns, which include clean water defense, clean and safe energy, and pure farms, pure water. Currently, we are fighting a proposed natural gas-fired power plant along the Yawk River, this involves rezoning of residential areas to industrial, and the project is abutting environmental justice areas. Waterkeepers are required to patrol their waterways, and this means being present on the water, tracking sources of pollution, reviewing permits, uh, etc. We've been monitoring a discharge point from a hazardous waste landfill located in Westmoreland County. This facility has received several violations of lack of compliance and continues to have issues properly treating their discharge. As water keepers, we are encouraged to participate in other initiatives like bacteria monitoring, hosting volunteer river cleanups, and promoting recreation. Our river cleanup campaign has successfully removed nearly 1,000 tires from the river. Creating a sense of trust is important when discussing very impactful projects and river cleanups are a great tool for that. Currently, microplastics and nurdles are a hot topic in the environmental world. The recent push to expand petrochemical manufacturing in our region may change the entire landscape for Southwest Pennsylvanians and other upper Ohio watershed communities. The beaver cracker plant will most certainly bring an increase in the amount of nurdles in the Ohio River, and this is the first of what sounds like several new petrochemical build-out projects in our region, including storage, processing and production. We are working with other groups in the Ohio River Basin to monitor nurdles, which is the small plastic pellet that the cracker plant will produce, and this will be a first for us. At the same time, we'll be looking at other microplastics. Baseline data collection, or data before the waterway is impacted by a project, will begin this fall throughout the upper Ohio watershed. This includes the Yawk, the Mon, the Allegheny, and the Ohio. We do plan on using volunteer citizen science to increase engagement, increase awareness, and provide science-based information that the public can trust. Some of this data will be collected using do-it-yourself sampling equipment that volunteers will learn how to make using simple items. Uh, this smaller Upper Ohio group will then share the results with the Nerdle Patrol, which is an international nerdle initiative made up of citizen scientists, institutions, and professional water quality specialists. In other terms, our volunteer network will participate in a larger volunteer network across the globe. That's all I have to share for now. Thanks for joining.